line straight from Canada where we begin. Samuel from Canada had a swollen gum at his mouth tonight after that interruption prayer. We're told that this swollen gum had been on for almost a week now. He took drugs and there was no help. But after the prayer of the man of God tonight, that swelling was interrupted. And according to what he wrote, it disappeared instantly. Praise the Lord. We got a couple of other testimonies, and I begin to read them out to you now. This one, Victoria. Kelechi Victoria. Back pain and pain in the head, miraculously. He said, after the prayer of the man of God, she called to her mom and said, Mom, it's unbelievable. She had interruption miracle. All those pains disappeared. says that he had very strong pain, which had also been disturbing her during examinations. But tonight, all those pains have finally vanished. Praise the Lord. Allah no Femi Sunday wrote, right chest pain disappeared tonight after the prayer of the man of God. Praise the Lord. And finally, before we return to our moderator, this one is from Ulua Sheung Akiola. He says that for the past three days, he has had pain, excruciating pain in the body. That pain also vanished. Let me add, Gloria Adela received my miracle tonight. I had arthritis on my knee. That arthritis has completely disappeared. Interruption by your side. If Check you want out. to clap, put your hands together for Jesus. It's now time to hear what God has done right here at the Alpha location. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I have there with me Sister Ojedo Salome Yemisi. Since November, she's been having severe back pain. She'll give her testimony now. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I firstly thank God for the salvation of my soul. I thank God for how God is helping me since, for how God is supporting me with all the trials and temptation the devil is bringing on my way. I thank God for how God is making me to overcome and to have victory over them. I also thank God for his protection over my life, over my family. Because of the problem I've been I did not even know that I, 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 will, I will be able to even see the, the, the new year, which is uh, 2022. But by the grace of God, by the mercy and the goodness of God that is enduring upon my life, I thank God because he made me to witness 2022 in peace and in joy of the Lord. Praise the Lord! My real testimony is that since last year, I've been experiencing uh, back pain. Because all the time like this, I, I will be feeling back pain at all times. 
I used to take, if, if that happened, I would take Prasamo, then I pray over it. And as times go on, this thing still continue. Because as, as we want to come to this program, I've been praying that God, as I'm coming to this program, all the problems, all the sickness in my body, I want God to take it away from my life. So as I'm coming this evening, this thing still passes. Even get myself, but I so I came here this night after the prayer of the man of God. I can see that all the all the pain was totally gone. Praise the Lord! Praise the living Jesus! Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Neck pain, back pain, bow after the prayer of interruption. Praise the Lord. I have here with me Sister Daisy. Asha Ashibobu. She has, uh, she's been having for about two weeks. Let her share her testimony now. Praise the Lord. My name is Adeze, and by the grace of God, I am saved. I want to testify of the goodness of the Lord upon my life for delivering me from two weeks migraine. It was, and no, whenever the pain comes like this, to be sure it's excruciating that I would just have to sit down and stop whatever I'm doing. But this evening I received my miracle by the grace of God. I just sat down, believed with faith that God has done it for me. And immediately the pastor finished the prayer and said the last amen. The headache just went, it just went. I even had to test, I bent my head like this. So no, if maybe I'm just like, maybe mis um, illusion or something like that. But by the grace of God, I am healed. I'm not feeling any form of headache whatsoever. Praise the Lord. That can only be an interruption miracle. I said that can only be an interruption miracle. And tonight, even as we are listening to these testimonies, keep checking. the Lord. I have here with me Dr. Adi Yemi Jeremiah. Since the year 2012, you can give your testimony now. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Praise the Lord. Wow. Just see the testimony again. I can't start like this before. But thank God. Um, actually, my name is Ademi Mukujirima from Yaba College of Technology in Lagos. Um, since 2012, I used to have chest pain, so I don't really used to, like, I didn't take it as something, like, something regular. So last year, I went to the doctor. He said, I have, like, my heart is diseased. Like, I have disease in my heart. So I was like, is there anything disease from within? But well, um, last week, um, sorry, last year, December, before Christmas, on Monday I came back, I used to go to work. So I came back from work on Monday, by 12 to maybe to one midnight on Tuesday, I fainted. 
I was like, ah. But the bike will come back to normal. It took like five to 10 minutes. So my testimony is, last year, great miracle explosion, I see my testimony. But, but that was not the ending. I see so have slight pain in my chest. So back there, I sat down. As I sat on my seat, I was on my seat praying that God, this slight pain, just take this pain away from me totally. And thank God, by the grace of God, by the goodness of God, be the God of this great miracle explosion of 2021 and the great God of impact 2022. This heart disease has been interrupted. Praise the Lord! You can hear him. He couldn't scream nor shout this way before. But the interruption has happened. We are going to listen to this last testimony for tonight so that we can, those who are going home can go home on time. But remember, the prayer of interruption has been said by the man of God. Expect an interruption in your life. The next testimony. Praise the Lord. Have with me here, Brother Joseph Sotin. A week ago, he was scammed of over 100,000 naira. Let's hear his testimony. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. <laughs> when I came in, I, I can't laugh. I can't lie. Because last week, I was, I was scammed of 111,000. 111, yes. I remembered. But how, how it all happened, I don't really understand. I don't really understand. But by the grace of God, I'm born again. But despite yet, despite it, I was still asking God, that, God, how come? How did all this happen? Because it was painful. Even for the past one week, those I've been laughing with, deep inside my heart, I was crying. I mean, seriously crying. If there's something more than so deeper than sorrow, that was what I was... Because... My mom doesn't know about it. My dad doesn't. They can't hear. If they hear, oh God, it will be something. <laughs> it, will, it, won't be, it, won't be, it won't be funny at all. But when I came in this evening, I was, I was really crying. Deep inside of me, I was crying. But after the choir ministration and after the message, in fact, and now I can laugh. I can, I can, you know, everything is okay. And lest I forget, you know, during the interrogation, they asked, how did I get the money and everything? Actually, I won a competition last year, Lagos State Spelling B. So I won the first runner up, and that was how I won the sum of 150,000 era. So that was how I got the money, and 111 was scammed. And, but by the grace of God, I believe God will give me more. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. of you did not understand that young man to carry a heavy body. But tonight, that body was rolled away by the miraculous prayer of interruption. 
And he said he started with the singing of the choristers. So, don't miss any part of the program. The prayer session, the choir administration, congregational song, corporate prayers, seminar session, guest speaker session, and then our Father in the Lord's message administration. It is a full package. I said it is a full package. Tomorrow, I'm expecting you here by 3.30 p.m. Today, we have gone high. To, sorry, today we have done high. Tomorrow is what? What is tomorrow? What is next tomorrow? What is Friday? And that's our day evening. And Sunday morning. And the grand grand finale Sunday evening. In fact, make sure you receive your full package. Tomorrow, be here on time. The Lord's package awaits you. What do we say to our Father and the Lord? 